keep cooking without the 12 bad foods. Hi, I'm the chef from Notice Foods. I have over 20 years experience in the kitchen. I did graduate from chef school at George Brown. And I'm gonna teach you about cooking without the 12 bad foods. Now this was introduced to me about two years ago. So I did have to learn all these techniques. And through this, I learned some easy tips that will probably help you without the 12 bad foods and have a healthier life. So we're gonna go through the 12 bad foods right now. First on the list is wheat, barley, rye, and oats. Now when you hear that, you think in your head, well, what am I supposed to eat now? And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, man, I can't give up bread. I love bread because most products contain wheat in it or oats. So an easy step that I did was first, I went into gluten-free section and looked at all the flours that they did have. And I picked an all-purpose baking flour, Bob's Red Mill gluten-free all-purpose baking flour is my favorite. It is made with gluten-free grains and bean flours. And it's just a perfect blend that I feel doesn't have much taste when you add it to a roux or to your sauces or soups or stews or when you bread your chicken. Then you're, you're set, right? There's your flour, xanthan gum. You need that in all your flours that you do if you do do baking because it just emulates what gluten does in white flour is hold it together and bind it. You know, next thing you might want to do is get a tapioca flour, which is also called tapioca starch. And I find it just a perfect substitute for cornstarch. Next on the list we got is well done red meat. Don't burn your food and don't heat your red meat to a too high of a temperature because it does cause free radicals. So well done red meat is also burnt meat or burnt really anything. Don't eat anything burned. The only exception is stewing meat. And the reason why stewing meat is acceptable and can be cooked well done is because it's never over the temperature of 100 because it's cooked in a liquid. Because stewing meat doesn't go over the temperature of 100, all your stewing meats, you can still stew them. And the next one on the list is no oil in a bottle. Now most people have a problem with that because they do cook with vegetable oil and most people have moved on to olive oil as a healthier choice, but none of it is good. So my substitute straight for oil is butter. And butter is the best because if you process it, you can make clarified butter. Now, butter can cook at 325 Fahrenheit, so that's mostly everything that's low and slow that you'd cook in oil. And anything higher than that is clarified butter, which it burns at 486, and you should never be cooking your food that high anyway. Another one that you can switch it up sometimes is ghee. Now, ghee is a form of clarified butter, but where it comes from, it has a more nuttier flavor, and they say the burning point of that is 482 Fahrenheit. And when it comes to oils for salad dressings where you will mix the vinegar and the oil together, just melt butter. It's a way better tasting salad dressing I find and it works exactly the same. And if you want a less buttery taste, like a cream taste that you'll get from the milk product, use clarified butter or ghee and they work out perfect. If you have to warm them up a little bit, double boiler it or just stick it near heat, it usually will go to a liquid in room temperature. Ghee has a more nuttier flavor where clarified butter has like a more dumbed down butter taste, but still butter is great. You just can't cook it over 325. Next on the list is no deep fried foods. The safe way to cook your foods is by broiling, baking, boiling, sauteing. Here's some deep fried examples that you can do without deep frying them. And first on the list is French fries. The best way to get them just like tasting like deep fried fries is coat them with clarified butter, put them on a tray with parcel and paper, and cook them in an oven between 350 or 400, depending on if you use a timer when you cook or you keep an eye on your food so you don't burn them. They'll be nice golden brown and taste just like crispy French fries. A deep fried chicken wings, a substitute for deep fried chicken wings is to bake them. So you'd flour them just like you would by putting them in a deep fryer, but you just throw them in the oven with clarified butter, put a little extra clarified butter and spoon it over top of 
your chicken wings and it will be just like restaurant style deep fried chicken wings. The next one on the list is processed meats. But the reason why we stay away from processed meats is because of nitrates. And also another substitute where they say is nitrate free, but they use celery because they're using celery as a preservative and it acts just like a nitrate when it's in that process. And then once you watch how it's made, you'll never eat bologna or hot dogs ever again. Next on the list, we have no carbonated beverages with a meal, which really doesn't have anything to do with cooking because you're usually not using carbonation to cook. And next on the list is no skins of baked potatoes. So if you bake the potato, you can't eat the skins. Now, if you boil the skins of the potatoes, that's okay. Uh, for potatoes though, there's lots and lots of ways you can cook them without the skins on them. And one of my favorite is roasty potatoes. You know, I just bake them in the oven, then I pull them out, I skin them, and then I shred them up and cook them low and slow with butter in a pan with a little salt and nutmeg to die for. Next on the list, we have soy and soy products. Now organic and non-GMO, they say are okay. I really don't mess with any kind of soy products except for soya sauce and it is gluten free. A brand that I use is Bragg's. I also use their liquid aminos as a substitute for soya sauce as well. And last on the list is corn. Organic and non-GMO is okay. So if you have to make corn tortillas, just make sure your flour is organic or non-GMO and that's for cornbread as well. Those are the 12 bad foods. And I can understand this is a very daunting task and a very challenging task. But I'm here for you and I have done lots of recipes and I'm continuing to do cooking videos as my journey has just begun with cooking without the 12 bad foods. This style of cooking is more going back to being homemade and more cautious with the food that you intake. And a few things I just want you to take away from this 12 bad foods. Number one, low and slow should be your motto when cooking any of your foods. You have the control, you're not burning it, and you have an understanding with your food and it's balanced and you have a love there. That's why you're taking your time. Number two would be check your ingredient lists on the products that you do use. You'd be surprised that they do add the 12 bad foods to most of the products out there. Now gluten free and oil free has become a trend, but it's not really steam rolling like it. I believe it should be. And that's all I have to say about this right now, but leave a comment. If you have any questions and if you like, follow us on Instagram at Notice Foods and DM us there and we can answer all your questions. And thank you.